Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood is a little girl who lives with her mother in a small village. One morning, her mother gives her a woven basket full of cupcakes. She asks her to deliver the basket to her grandmother who lives nearby. Don't stop on the way and don't talk to strangers, says mother. But why not, mom? asks Little Red Riding Hood. Talking to strangers can be dangerous, replies mother. Little Red Riding Hood takes the basket and walks to Grandmother's house. On the way, she sees some beautiful flowers. Grandmother loves flowers, thinks Little Red Riding Hood. Mm, I should collect a bunch of them for her. She picks the most gorgeous flowers and plucks them for her dear grandmother. A wolf sees Little Red Riding Hood. He wants to eat her. He thinks of an evil plan. What are you doing here, little girl? asks the wolf. I'm collecting flowers for my grandmother who lives in the old cottage behind the bushes, replies Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood remembers her mother's advice. I'm sorry, Mr. Wolf, I'm not allowed to chat with the strangers, says Little Red Riding Hood. The wolf decides to go to the grandmother's house and see if she lives alone. He reaches the house and knocks at the door. Grandmother thinks it's her granddaughter, Little Red Riding Hood, so she opens the door. The wolf quickly ties grandmother's up and locks her in the wood robe. The wolf wears grandmother's glasses, hat and blouse. Then he sleeps in Grandmother's bed and waits for Little Red Riding Hood to arrive. A little later, Little Red Riding Hood arrives and finds that the door is open. She shouts, Grandmother, why is the door open? The wolf replies, because I'm expecting you, I'm old, and I can't get out of bed. Grandmother, why do you sound so weird? asks Little Red Riding Hood. <coughs> I just have a cold, dear, replies the wolf with a cough. Come closer, he adds. Little Red Riding Hood gets closer to Grandmother's bed. Grandmother, what big eyes you have! She exclaims. All the better to see you with, the wolf replies. Grandmother, what big ears you have, says Little Red Riding Hood. All the better to hear you with, replies the wolf. And what a big mouth you have, says Little Red Riding Hood. All the better mm, to eat you with, replies the wolf as he hops out of the bed and attacks her. Little Red Riding Hood gives a high-pitched scream. Luckily, the woodcutter is walking past the cottage on his way home. He hears the scream and dashes to the house with his axe in his hand. He strikes at the wolf, who falls down in pain. He ties him up, throws him onto the bed, and calls the police. You are safe, Little Red Riding Hood, says the woodcutter. Thank you for saving me, sir. But where is Grandmother? asks Little Red Riding Hood. They hear banging sounds in the wood rope. So they open it and find Little Red Riding Hood's grandmother. Little Red Riding Hood, the woodcutter, and grandmother all eat the cupcakes and celebrate while they wait for the police to come and arrest the wolf. <laughs>